What is good, everybody? What is good? We're, we're playing backside. It's been a minute, but we're going to jump right back into it. Right back into it. Um, and yeah, I think we're all set. We're going to start recording. recording. And... Mm -hmm. and Xbox uh, custom $100 controller um, that I've had forever and it looks nasty now because it's like really disgusting. Um, still cool though. It's your boy Wolfang, you know what I'm saying? We all been here, you know what I'm saying? Oh, here we are. What is our, our objective? <laughs> Focus discourse on of equality. He can't read, he's blind. He appears to be asleep. What's our main objective, Black Sabbath? Uh, should we, like, go somewhere? What's in here? Uh, nothing in here. Okay. You need sprint? Okay, the volume is great and all, the, the jazz, but it, we need to take it down just a notch. Just a notch. It's a little much. It's a little much. Sometimes when I walk into my office, I get the feeling that I'm walking among the ruins of a... Stop. We need to turn this down. He can keep his voice the same. His voice is pretty fire. Um, music, we're gonna, we're gonna turn that down to like, like 70. Golly, dude. Sometimes when I walk into my office. Uh, oh, no. And then we want to save these. Right, so we're gonna hit, um, uh, apply. Yes. Get me the freak out of here. Yeah, I need to calm down that jazz. It's a little much. What are we doing? Officer, officer, can I talk to you for a minute, sir? So, um, basically what we got here is, um, Joe Dunn. Um, uh, oh, sir, 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 excuse me, sir, 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 sir. Do you know who murdered Joe Dunn? Sir, I, sir, excuse me, sir, sir, please, sir, 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 sir. Do you not know who, who killed Joe Dunn, sir? Joe Dunn is dead, sir. Oh! This is unbelievable. Folks, um... I think we just found our murder. It was a white pit bull. Um... Didn't want to answer my questions. Sir! Sir, do, do you know anything about the disappearance of uh, Joe Dunn? No? Okay, alright, cool. Thank you. Um... Oh, by the way, it wasn't a disappearance, it was a, a suicide, but you know, uh... Yeah, anyways, okay, cool, bye. It's worth a try, guys. You never know. He may know something that, um, that we, uh, we, we need to know. <laughs> Super offer. Whoa. Can we call anyone? I don't really want to talk to him, but okay. I have nothing else to do. Black's head? Back Smirnoff. You're gonna like what I have to tell you about the Dunn case. O'Leary is involved. Dunn's death might be a racial matter. O'Leary's definitely involved. We know that. I went to Yale's place and ran into O'Leary's men. They were waiting for him. Ah, well, it's only normal. They run an illegal gambling operation. If a fight's canceled, they lose money. I'd love to take a swing at O'Leary. We can't base the case on a hunch. I'm not finished yet. I think I have a new lead on the Dunn case. Uh... I know Dunn in the clean. That's not really gonna do anything, though. Dunn's death might be a racial matter. Okay. Jake works for O'Leary? I mean, sure. <laughs> a close friend of Dunn's works for O'Leary. You mean that gorilla? Your ex's bodyguard? We know. O'Leary is a respectable citizen. Until we prove otherwise. So there's nothing wrong with him hiring a bodyguard. You're gonna like what I have to tell you about the Dunn case. I know Dunn and the Clean Link were engaged. Dunn dished. and the Jim's oh. cleaning lady were about to get married. Great. Call what's news. They'll know what to do with such an incredibly interesting piece of information. The combination on Dunn's safe was her birthday. He even gave her a ring. You know, your typical suicidal bliss. Okay, I'm still not convinced, but I might have something. 
Whoa! We did need to talk to him. Wow. Okay. Just sipping my uh my fine uh sugar-free uh soda. Oh, sorry, no. uh. Why is my computer so slow? Ooh. Life is often off key, like a bad song. The notes come together but feel flat, unable to create anything resembling music. Whoa, that's Mirnoth. And yet, there are ways to string them together to create harmony. Ways that are not always entirely in our hands. This is a top secret file on Joe uh, Dunn. He was a bad man. You look man. tired, John. I'm a cat. <laughs> I can't help it. It's just the way we cats are. Well, I can't help but be glad to see you. Yep, I'm beat. I'm starving. Just got back from the annual police medical. Not only did I have to fast, but I also had to chug two enormous glasses of water. Wow, that sucks, bro. Real d that really is the worst, bro. John, you alright? I'm not gonna say anything. Okay, no problem. Let's talk business. Bones coffee's back there. The thing is, I'd love to help you out with this case, but I can't. You know I work for the state of New York. If I had any information, I couldn't share it with a private eye. Even if it was lying on top of this table. How do your kidneys process so much water? You drank two huge glasses of water. How are your kidneys coping with that? Yeah, you're right. Maybe I should uh, go to the... If you'll excuse me. <clears throat> you so. Office of Chief Medical Examiner, East Manhattan. Ooh! Post more report preliminary. Office... Okay, okay, ooh. ooh. Case number 17, okay, medical team, okay, okay, uh, okay, okay, he hanged himself, okay, Widower. he's a lynx, color dark brown, age 47, dang, 47? No wonder he was trying to get married, <laughs> time of death, approximately 7 p.m., 19, oh, they didn't want to put the year, okay, I understand that, um, violent asphyxia, form of death, suicide. 7 p.m. on October. That was okay. Violent anesthesia caused by rope around the neck. The neck presented four ring shape marks around the entire circumference caused by said rope. The four ring shaped marks. Oh. Hmm. Swollen, slightly scrapped knuckles on the subject's right hand. Probably caused by recent trauma. Scraped knuckles? Interesting. No internal autopsy performed since external evidence seems sufficiently conclusive. Dunn had four different marks. When Dunn died, his knuckles were swollen. Wow. Oh. Now I feel even thinner. So do my kidneys. Thanks. Truth is, John, it all seemed clear to me before, but now... Please, promise me you won't take the law into your own hands. I'd like to think we're not just vigilantes. Yeah, I'll call the police. Sure, you can trust me. I give you my word. Mm -hmm. All right. In any case, keep me posted, will you? Whoa. Sure, you can count on me. Take care, John. Look at them meeting outside. As always, Smirnoff had given me new, potentially relevant information. Look at him meeting outside. Not like, to nobody mention sees second this. thoughts. Like he's not being followed. When an old dog like him gets that serious, one must be prepared to bite. The 
Let's make some deductions. Uh, in my uh, mind palace. Uh. Okay, so definitely when Dunn died, his knuckles were swollen. Uh, Dunn's weight. No, okay. Ooh. No. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, definitely this one. No. Okay, how about this one? Ooh! All right. Dunn punched a paint can, but why? Wasn't he calm and composed? Let's go check out the paint can. Dunn must have punched a paint can. Oh, so that's why that paint can was, was uh, dented? The clues collected a lot of new deductions. Let's do it. <laughs> that girl's like, why are you using this top? Alright. Alright, baby, 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 baby. Where? There's paint stained on the floor. No. Uh. Oh God. A three and one special. Dunn must have punched the can while he was arguing with Yale. I guess that explains why he threatened to call the fight off. Oh, there it is. What exactly was he saying? Uh, something like, uh, if you do that. I'll call up the fight and make sure you never set foot in this gym again. Hey, look at the freaking pink and you freaking dodo brain. Oh my god, dude. We got one more deduction. All right, all right, bet, 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 bet. Four different net marks. <gasps> the chest expander has four rings. Oh, it has three. Okay, okay. Dunn's weight and height. Interesting. What? Hmm. I'm much taller than Dunn. <gasps> and I can barely reach the noose. There's no way Dunn hanged himself. Wait, because he wouldn't have been able to reach it? Or he would have had to, like... Not on his own, at least. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Dunn wasn't tall enough to hang himself from that noose. Okay. Don't want to call it the fight? No. No. All right, this one. Wait, what? Oh. Hold you those test expanded boy. Bobby Yale. I don't know if you had a motive to kill Dunn, but you certainly had the murder weapon. Dunn was strangled with Yale's chest expander. Dang. Oh, dang, boy. He haunts you. Dunn was strangled with Bobby Yale's chest expander. You want to call the fight? 
I'm just saying, he had a motive. Christ. Did Yale kill Dunn just because he wanted to call off the fight? Hey, you ain't gonna cancel my fight. Oh. Oh, he just got clapped. I always knew Bobby had issues. But I never thought he'd go that far. The evidence is stacking against him. It's too early to say it. Yeah, it's way too early to say that. I couldn't say. In my line of work, you really shouldn't jump to conclusions. But the chest expander, the box in his locker, the marks on my father's neck. It all leads to him. I don't know. I don't, I don't, it's not him. It's way too obvious. In any case, that doesn't change a thing. It does, actually. Now we know he didn't kill himself. My father's still dead, and you still haven't found Bobby Yale. Nothing has changed. Oh my god. He is... Opening the safe and finding my father's will won't help us achieve anything. Oh my god. So please hurry. Time's wasting. You should just, you should just tell her. You know what, ma'am? If you don't appreciate the fact that I opened your safe, found out that he didn't Sons hang himself. Son's indifference never ceased to amaze me. Thank you. <laughs> Go outside and take a smoke, bro. Why was she so opposed to Yale? Oh, here we go. So I told you this was gonna happen. John Blacksad? I think I owe you an apology. Oh snap! Top mafia boss. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna answer you. <laughs> I ain't gonna talk to you, boy. <laughs> all right, I understand. After all you've been through, you'd prefer not to talk in front of me. I don't even talk to you, boy. I'm so sorry they wrinkled your suit. The thing is, uh, they didn't know we shared a common goal. Oh, Bobby Yale. I want to find him. And get to the bottom of this as much as you do, Mr. Black Sad. So please. Kindly accept my invitation. Why not share our findings? Come on. Ooh, so Larry wants to find him too. Hey, I see your suit isn't the only thing my men ruined. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I always play it nice and safe. You really gonna shoot me? Look at look at Black Sand. He said. He said, okay. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna talk to him. I don't, I don't, we don't talk to terrorists. All right. Like same thing with terrorists, same thing with the mafia. We don't, there's no need to talk to them. Like he doesn't need no information whatsoever. All right. Like I said, just sitting there taking a smoke. Thank you, Black said. You won't regret this. So let's cut to the chase. I need Bobby Yale to fight Stone. There's just too much money at stake. So, I'm offering you my help to find Yale. Oh. Let's work together. I'm in. What kind of help do you need? I always, I always work solo. I don't work with criminals. I don't need to talk to you. Nothing? What? Don't you like me? You're a good detective. And I, well... Let's just say I have my own ways of making people talk. Okay. What? what? Do my own ways scare you? Please, hear me out. Let's say I bet a beer that we find Yale in three days, and you bet a beer that we don't. In three days, one of us has to buy the other a beer. Is that so bad? We're simply two grown men using our money and free will to conduct a small private exchange. And most importantly, we're not hurting anyone. So, yeah, 
I run a gambling business. What's so bad about that? Um, uh, I can't really say. That's for uh, God. You know what I'm saying? I can't really say. <laughs> well, I can. Nothing. But I'll tell you what is wrong. The way our government is ruining America. We live yeah. in a so-called free country. A place where honest people can make a living. Provided they don't hurt anybody. We're not communists. Well, at least I'm not. I would have never thought otherwise. As for me... Uh, I didn't tell you talk like that. <laughs> Ooh, all right. Never mind then. In any case, that's not my point. The government betrays our nation's values by passing communist laws that forbid an honest man like me to make a living without hurting a soul. And that, Mr. Black said, is just wrong. I'd even say it's unconstitutional. Mm -hmm. Do you get my point now? Gambling is also immoral. Now, that's not the cool thing to say, bro. You gotta say, uh, um, that doesn't justify what you do. Uh, okay. But that doesn't justify what you do for a living. Oh boy. Did you hear anything I just said? Anyway, oh boy. When the government passes these laws, there's only one legitimate weapon the people can wield. The same weapon that turned America into a great nation. Civil disobedience. So, as the proud American that I am, it's my duty to disobey. Wow. You might have a point. You're bending the truth. What? I don't need to talk to you. Who would, just tell me what you want. Let's get the heck out of here. You said you want to talk about Bobby Yale. Anyway, think what you want. But when you hear just how I've transformed this business, you'll know I'm right. I'm sure you're making lots of money. I wasn't always boss, you know. I'm sure you're making no, lots of money. Oh, sir. I started at the bottom when Lucky Blitzen ran the show. Wow, I Lucky Blitzen. His was a reign of terror, extortion, violence, you know, that sort of unpleasant thing. When I took over... I decided I'd make people want to do my bidding. Not out oh. of fear, but out of gratitude. I decided to help people so they would help me. That beating your thugs gave me was really helpful. Thank you so much. Ah, ah, ah. Those poor bastards didn't even know you were a detective. That you were on our side. Maybe at first. But when they tied me up and beat the socks off me, they knew very well who I was. Seriously? That goes against my rules. Who was it? The two of them. When it was the it was mostly the rhino. It was just Colbert. That bastard. Don't you worry. I will have a serious talk with him. Yeah, no, I Colbert. I cannot no, tolerate bad, this behavior. Bad, Please Colbert, accept bad. my apologies, Mr. Blacksad. You see, a lot of people work for me. Many families depend on my business. Not only that. St. Christopher's Hospice practically lives on my donations. The widows of my late employees are set for life. Their kids get free schooling. Oh. The cops leave me alone oh. because they know my business doesn't hurt anyone. God on the bless. contrary. The and, children. Ah, it looks like we're here. He helps the children and the widows. God bless you, sir. You're illegal gambling and mafia should be commended for what you've done for this country. <laughs> he can go to H-E double hockey sticks. Talking about widows and orphans. Like, bro, I don't care about them. <laughs> I'm sure you do all that and more. Yale's apartment? <laughs> I told you, I'm on your side. Go ahead, search the place. I'll wait down here. Damn, we got the mafia S for me, boy. Maybe you'll change your mind and share your findings with me. Or not. It's your call, Mr. Blacksad. I'll make sure you're suitably compensated. Colbert! Wilson! Hey, imagine being like a, a, a bodyguard. Or like a mafia dude. Must be really rough, because every time I hear about it, people want to leave. Yes, they do. Now I get to search this place. The worst thing about O'Leary's boys dropping by isn't the beating, but the fact that I can't tell what's theirs and what's Yale's. <laughs> oh, they have pizza. Uh, Doesn't seem like the best food for a boxer. Then again, 
It could be your classic bookie thug lunch. I don't think that was there though when we were here, so we can conclude that. Um. Bobby seems like a nice kid, but I, I barely know him. Aww. Hmm. Mary went to Luna Park with Yale. Oh, Mary Purnell? A woman's fragrance. Almost angelical. That was Sonia or Mary? That's Mary? In that photo? I'm not sure how Yale's love of pickles will help me crack the case, but it's good to know. If we see pickles, he got to be near. <laughs> Uh, there's pickles here. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh. This is your typical average... Judging by the general state of the apartment, they were leading a quiet life. Get the freak... Did he really put the poster up? Is this boy tripping? Uh, uh, it is kind of fancy though. I'm not gonna lie. Oh wow, that's kind of cool. Uh, continue. Thank you for the, the collectibles. Uh, that's kind of cool though. I'm not gonna lie. The Sissian Capo. So you like your mob stories, don't you, Bobby? Oh. Seems like Bobby inherited something more than boxing skills from his father. Besides the tendency to vanish into thin air, of course. Hmm. But he's like a poet? Open it up! Why would you want such a big closet for so few clothes? Someone took the clothes? Unless someone emptied it recently. Oh, because he left? When he left, he took some clothes, maybe? A collectible. Ugh. Copy one of three. Do you know any of his relatives? Is his father ever, ever... Avenarius. Avenarius? The boxer poet? Didn't he disappear 20 years ago? Whoa. All right. Did I get everything? No? Oh, over here, maybe. Alma Mayor La Fontaine de Seventeenth uh, century French fable. Oh, a card. Eh. Mayor must be one boring old lady. Oh god. <gasps> Whoa. I got a wolf card. I got a foot card. Uh got my collectibles. Get me the freak out of here. Ooh, the photos, the photos, the photos, the photos. Look at the photos, that'll help me. Oh my. No? Is that over here? Alright. What am I missing? Ugh, I need some soda for that one. I thought I lose my dang mind. Over here, uh. Okay, I think I have to do a deduction. That's probably it. I, forgot. I gotta do a deduction. Every time you don't know what to do, do a deduction. You know what I'm saying? Oh. <gasps> that means she's been here recently, but why? What does Sweet Mary have to do with Yale, the murder suspect? Pinnell's lying about Yale. Oh, I'm on to her. Leave, I'm done with this place. When I left... I told O'Leary I hadn't found a thing. The minute I was alone, I left for Mary's. Bye. 
But before all that, I took a small parting gift for her. Gun. <laughs> finally, we're finally getting somewhere with this dang case. I'm here walking around trying to find what to do for like the longest time. Finally getting a little juicy. Ah, uh, juicy. I found your scarf. I've never trusted angels. Mr. Black's hat? What a... Ooh. Surprise. <laughs> when they fall, they turn into demons. Joey told me he was going to spend the afternoon painting the gym and that Bobby would be fixing something up on the roof. So, after I found the body and called the police, I went to Bobby's place, but he wasn't there. How did you open the door to his apartment? Uh, tell us. How did you open this door to your facts. Spit your facts. I think it was already open. Everything is so confusing. Then why'd you put your scarf I'm up? I'm sorry, Mr. Black said. Don't be. I'm here to figure it all out. Why would you put your scarf up there? Do you realize you might be protecting a murderer? Do you realize you might be protecting a murderer? What? I'm not protecting anybody. Okay. I think it's time to set things straight. I know you were cheating on Dunn with Yale. Or was it the other way around? No. How can you even think of something like that? How can you convince me otherwise? I found a picture at Yale's apartment. It's you and him on a roller coaster. Mm hmm. Spit your facts. Spit your facts. Can you explain, Miss Purnell? Spit your facts. I'm not white, Mr. Black said. What? Seven of my great-grandparents were white. The eighth was black. According to law, I'm a black citizen, even if my skin says the contrary. Do you know what that means when you're born in North Arlington, Alabama? Alabama? Uh, I don't... Uh, segregated housing? Segregated housing, with far worse homes for colored people. We even have different water fountains, for God's sake! The separate but equal sake, doctrine why you and all that. That baloney, that crap. And all the lies. That's why I moved here. No one knows what color my great grandparents were. You're not the only one. I completely understand. Okay, I'm not. What do I? He's my nephew, Mr. Black said. Joe and I first started. Taking care of poor Bobby when my sister died. That was when he was almost 15. The three of us went on that trip to Luna Park. So this is where Joe Dunn comes in. Bobby was the only one who knew about me and Joey. We were afraid that someone would use my past to ruin his career. It's not the first time I hear that story. I'm sorry I accused you so lightly. Don't worry. I understand. You apologize to Mary. Let's do my cat senses. Ooh. What the heck? Fresh out of the oven. The whole room smells like pie. Ooh. Mary smells like... Actually, the whole room smells like a pie fresh out of the oven. So I can't identify any other fragrances. Mm. Get your facts, get your facts. Anti starts at home. Femity. Femininity. Okay. TV and radio all in one. Where will these mad times lead us? 
I got everything. About something you done in the ring. That cherry pie sure smells good. <laughs> that cherry pie smells so good. I'm starting to get hungry. Thanks. I pulled it out of the oven right before you arrived. Oh, where are my manners? I'm the worst hostess in the world. Yeah, girl, give me some pie, dang. I poisoned it just for you. Give my boy Bobby some pie. Let me go get a knife from the kitchen. You better go steal something. And you must be thirsty. Uh, let me see. OJ, coffee? Oh, definitely coffee. Definitely I'll coffee. I'll pick some coffee, thanks. I continue. She's wearing the same clothes in both pictures, so she's probably telling the truth. Whoa, don't leave! That's some beautiful artwork. I was going... <laughs> That's some beautiful artwork you got there. What? Dang, Black says say some pie for someone else. She's just like. Dang, Black <laughs> Oh my god. There's a queen size bed in the bedroom. What does that do? Oh my god, what does that do? I couldn't help but notice a queen size bed in the room. You what? Sorry. I had to make sure Bobby Yale wasn't hiding in there. Oh yeah, uh, sure. Joey bought this place. It was going to be our home after the wedding. I left my apartment and moved in so I could save some money. If he had left his own apartment and moved in, you could have saved twice the money. I'm no hooker, Mr. Blackside. Ooh! Where's Bobby, where's Bobby Yale? Uh, about Sonya in the ring. About Sonya Dunn in the ring. Well, I told her about you and Joe Dunn. No, I did, wait, did I? I had no choice. And what did she say? I don't think she took it too well. But she I might come to I understand didn't, it. I didn't tell her about Maybe. it. Maybe. But I'm not so sure you'll be able to keep my other secret safe. Your secret is safe with me. Your secret is safe with me. I believe you. Thanks. You should open up a bakery. Where's Bobby Yale? Are you sure you don't know where your nephew is? I've looked everywhere. He's nowhere to be found. That's don't that's worry. Her I'll find him. Thank you. You should open a bakery and sell these pies. <laughs> Thanks. Joey used to say the same thing. Oh, he ate the pie so he could smell. Ooh. He is on some next level, bro. Now that there's almost no pie left. The scent has also disappeared. He said, let me eat this real quick so I can smell. Now Mary smells like a huge dog. Oh, she was. Mary, when are you going to stop lying? I know your nephew is here. I can smell him. What? No. I already told you I don't know where he is. Stop playing around. You smell like dogs. Stop playing around and tell me. Where is he? You can search the whole house if you want. Go ahead. He's not here. Okay, fine. If he's making you cover him, I'll protect you. Hold up. We got some more smells. Wait a minute. She's not the one who smells like that. Who is it? 
it's the guy outside. Wait. 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 There's another smell. That's where Bobby Yale's scent is coming from. So, that's why you were sitting there. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. Damn, I've only got a, a scent. Could you step aside so I can check, please? <sighs> please go. Ooh! Mary, for Christ's sake, put that knife down, would you? Leave or I'll... I just want to help. Mary, I came here to help. I uh, mean it. I don't want to hurt you. Oh! Boy, get your foot down! Bobby! Oh! No! 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 Ah, the wrong way! Oh! Ugh. Oh boy, if you don't get... Boy, if you don't pick that up... Get your... X, boy! <laughs> boy, get X! Ooh, ooh! Ooh! <laughs> this is what I came here for! Ooh, get up, boy! Oh, he gonna beat me up! Why is he always getting beat up? Ooh! Ooh! Boy, yes! Yeet! Yeet! Was he punching the ground? Uh, Bobby! Call an ambulance. No! Do as I say. Go on, call an ambulance. Do it now. In the face of a heart attack, there's two things you can't forget. Well, you have a one, heart. Stay calm. Two, one chest compression per second. One Mississippi. <gasps> Two Mississippi. <gasps> Three Mississippi. Uh uh. Four Mississippi. Uh uh. He gonna die. Five Mississippi. <gasps> Six Mississippi. He gonna die. Seven Mississippi. <gasps> Bobby! Thank you, Bobby. I can trust you now. Bobby! Thank you. I had lots of reasons to consider this a great day. I had investigated a suicide case. Can we talked to him? I got questions. I had discovered that, in truth, we were dealing with a murder. I had found and captured the prime suspect. No. And I had saved a life. Why'd you call the ambulance, bro? They're gonna know where he is now. And yet, everything in me screamed that something was going wrong. Bro, why'd you let him go with the ambulance? Terribly wrong. There's a reason he's hiding. Oh my god, dude. What is you doing? Why would you put him with the police and the ambulance now, dude? Oh my gosh, dude. Promise me, you won't take the law into your own hands. I'd like to think we're not just vigilantes. I want a gun! What the hell? Bang, bang, bang! A fair amount of violence, extortion, and casualty. I hate detectives. Bang, bang, bang! Me. 
that you, Smirnov? You seem agitated. Nightmare? <sighs> yeah, I have a lot of those. Yeah, that makes two of us. Anyway, why don't you go home? In his current condition, Yale's not going anywhere. Besides, we'll take it from here. I can't watch Yale on my own. Thanks, I need some rest. Go Thanks. get some rest, bro. I think I need to get some sleep. Yep, that much is clear. <laughs> As for what happened yesterday, you promised me you wouldn't intervene. Uh, I saved someone's life. If I hadn't intervened, Bobby Yale could be dead. If you had warned me, maybe we could have avoided a heart attack. Anyway, what's done, is done. What was I supposed to do? I had no option not to go. Uh, what happens if I don't do anything? <laughs> Why do you blink? Oh my god. Oh. Come on, bro. Really? We really doing this right now? Don't smoke, kids. When, Smoking's really bad for when you. When exactly did you realize you're trying to make it look all done. cool? It ain't cool, guys. Look up what happens when you smoke for 10 years of your lungs. Look what happens when you smoke. It's not pretty. Out of sheer curiosity, I'm a cop after all. I discovered the murder weapon. Uh, I'm not sure yet. Yeah, we can't really. To be honest. I'm not so sure Yale killed anyone. How about the motive? Any ideas? Uh, don't want to call the fight off. Yale was in a street game. I can say that. I know Dunn wanted to call the fight off after something Yale did, but I still don't know what. In any case, hopefully Yale will tell us more. Hmm. Would you let me ask <laughs> look some at, questions? Look at Mary. Up? Look at Dog Mary. I know you will, with or without my permission. So, Ooh. I'd rather not feel betrayed. In exchange, drop by the station when you can. Your investigation could really help my men. Who, by the way, must be waiting for me to interrogate Mary Purnell. Boy, she was hard to pry from Yale's side. Don't go... Don't go too soft on her. She's a liar. Exactly! Don't go too soft on her. That girl's quite the liar. <laughs> will do. Thanks for the advice. And as for you, go get some rest. God knows you need it. I will. Thanks, boy. I will. Thanks for the advice. Tell the nurses to look at that face of yours. You look like a film detective in his last scene. I'm afraid this film isn't over yet. <laughs> for your sake. I hope you're wrong. You're in charge now, officer. Okay. okay. I'll send you relief in six hours. Understood? Doctor. Who are... Oh, detective. Congratulations. I'm a lither. You fared pretty well against that kid. Better than most would have. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me. Fared well? Do I look like I fared well to you? Who is this? We, as a society, simply don't trust reptiles. But that's not the real problem. Oh. The real problem is our extended belief that there's logic to that distrust. That it's natural and well-founded. Oh. But he's a doctor. Dr. Palmer. How's Yale? Is he awake? Oh yeah. Go check on him before he falls asleep again. Although, try not to bother him with too many questions. With too many questions. Will this have long-term effects on his help? I don't care. This guy can go. I'm done with him. 
A heart attack is a serious matter. It yells rest, yell rest after his heart attack. Hey, everyone's just smoking every second. Go away. I don't want to see you. The doctor told me to sleep. I rarely get to interrogate a suspect with his guard down in a place as quiet as this. Getting the chance to study his body language with no distractions is a rare gift. Ooh. He's looking straight at me. If he couldn't hold my stare, I'd think he's lying. But that's not the case. He's clenching his fist. A sign of contained anger. Mm. His heart rate is increasing. It could mean that he's lying, but it could also just be pure, unadulterated rage. Clenched fist, fast heart rate, fixed stare. He feels some genuine rage towards me. I'm sorry you don't want to see me, but... I saved your life, son. Maybe my aunt feels gratitude. I certainly don't. Luckily, I just got my medication. I'll be snoozing soon. All right, I'll just cut to the chase. Uh, who killed Dunn? Who killed Joe Dunn? What? Are you trying to confuse me? Joe hanged himself. Um, uh, that was too short to hang Dunn himself. Dunn was too short to hang himself with that rope. So, it's true? He was murdered. They wanted to call it the fight. The murder weapon was yours. Uh, let me analyze it a little bit. Is there any more? Oh, there is more. Is he lying? Or did his heart rate speed up out of rage? I already did this. Is he holding back his rage? Uh, I know the murder weapon was yours. What? The rope? I don't get it. What weapon do you mean? Don't play with me, boy. Ooh. The chest expander. An expander? I've never had one of those. Ooh. All right. Let's just say that I... I believe you. The murderer killed Dunn with a chest expander and planted evidence to make us believe it was suicide. But he also left enough clues behind to make sure we found the true murder weapon. Then he put the chest expander box in your locker to frame you. Do you know anyone that twisted and who also happens to have a motive? I... I don't know. Uh, oh. What did she gain? He doesn't gain anything, though, by killing him. What about Frank Cassidy? Do you think he has a motive? Maybe. A few weeks ago, Joe took me to a boxing manager's association meeting. Headed by Cassidy. Yeah. He was obsessed with making it illegal for boxers to fight without a manager. Or without an associated manager. Everyone seemed to go along with it until Joe spoke up. Ooh. He said that would lower us to mob status. That Cassidy had founded the association just to make money by monopolizing the sport. Oh, wow. That made others think twice. And Cassidy ended up empty-handed. Poor Cassidy. Desmond O'Leary. Desmond O'Leary certainly seems twisted enough. Did he have anything against Dunn? I'm not sure if they knew each other. He wouldn't have done it. He needs a fight to go on. Person. About a month ago, Joe kicked one of O'Leary's men out of the gym. He was trying to give a business card to... Jacob's Giambi. 
Yeah, exactly. Did Jake tell you about that? Something like that. Maybe it was... What am I saying? Jake could never pull off something like that. Nothing. Never mind. What about Sonya Dunn? Sonya? I doubt it. She's odd. But she's his daughter. I've seen worse. Believe me. Black Sad. I think I owe you an, uh... uh... You know, my father disappeared when I was six. Right after winning a fight. We never heard from him again. Do you know what that does to a kid? Who knows where I'd be if Joe Dunn hadn't been in my life. Even when I lost my way and put a gun to his head years later, he still took me under his wing and managed to steer me in the right direction. And now that he's gone, you're risking your life to find his murderer. Whoa. Redemption Thanks. arcs. Aw, Mira. <sighs> you're welcome. You're welcome. Wow, so what was the point of me talking? Okay. For my own sake, I guess. Well, guys, we will come right back. And with that, we will <laughs> we will come right back. All right, we're going to come right back to this. It's going to be great. Um, this is taking quite a nice turn. I'm not going to lie. Um, let's look at our back, Sad. He's very quiet. I'm trying to make him a little bit more quiet because we don't want to talk to people we don't care about. You know what I'm saying? Um, the Runarius case. We got all the good stuff going. Um, we're kind of in the middle. We're very lonesome. Or we're more romantic, I guess. Yeah. Um, we are swift. We're not that clumsy. Very nice. But yeah, we're kind of on the middle between upright and pragmatic. Uh, so yeah, very nice. Okay, well this is a great time to come off. And um, you guys have a great day. And maybe we'll we'll jump right back to this. You don't know. But yeah, this is a great spot to uh, close. Things are really spicy now. And uh... I'll talk to you guys later. Ciao.